my clothing um, because I do still work if I decide to stay out on a work night then I've got clothing it's not all wrinkled either I just hang it up on the top of this rack I didn't realize I had so much stuff I was pulling out and not going to put back in there So this is part of the blackout curtains I cut off. It's just a spare piece. I go ahead and throw it over the top of my ice cold cooler, even though I have that on it. Love this cooler. Whew, smell, food smells good. So if Thor is with me during the day, right up front, this has to go in the back where Thor sits. And then when we go to bed at nighttime, I have to put this up front where Thor sits. So, if you get a big cooler like this, make sure that you can carry it. And maneuver it. Because it does get hard at times. And don't put it all the way over to my bed because that's where the fans are, on, is on the front and the side. But it sits right there. And then the power supply sits right in front of it. I can plug the cooler into my outlet down here, which I'm not going to do because I'm going straight home and it's going to come inside. I can plug it down in there so I can run the cooler while I'm driving, or I can plug it into here. Now let me see, do I have power on here? Oh yeah, I got some power on there now. So let me just go ahead and plug this in because the cooler's been off for a little bit. And for some reason, the cooler does not like to plug into here. I'm going to have to contact Iceco and tell them something's wrong. Oh, it's not working. But I'm almost home. So this is the curtain for the side that I have to fix. So for now, instead of being able to put it on there, I just put it next to it. Maybe. Oh, my clothes are in the way. Hey, that helps. So we're just gonna let it sit here for now. Not a big deal. I actually have this huge purple tablecloth that eventually I am going to throw over the top of all this and hide it so people can't see inside and look at all my baskets, but for now, they can sit there. This I'm just gonna put on the top because that way I can grab it if I need it. Actually, that way it could work too. This power supply is gonna go up front just to make sure it works. So I couldn't get it to work right for the power supply. And this I put across the top over here. Let me go from the other side instead of stretching. Um, it's just something that if I want a tray, if I'm eating in here or something, I can put the tray right there and it stays relatively. And basically that's it, the last, most of the stuff I'm just going to take out. I do have to fix um, my curtain rocker back here. I'm trying to figure out how to hang the curtains in here. But for now, all I can do is this. And I have bent the curtain up, the curtain rod up. Smashing it into the hatch. So for now, all I do is I hang it here. I can pull it the curtain over while I'm driving so I can at least see out half of it. That's one good thing with the paper towels that helps hold it in. Tuck this up. And that is it. Like I said, I'm going to have to fix this up 
dirty dishes, dirty clothes, all that stuff is coming out. It's not going done. Everything is in here. And I'm ready to hit the road. So ladies, what do you think? It's a little bit on the cramp side for just me and my dog, but it's home. And it looks better with the bed made instead of unmade like that. I just didn't feel like taking the time because I've talked too much as it is, which I'm not really a talker. So there you go. There's my little mini home. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace out.